and welcome everyone. In this video we will be discussing the remaining topics of the latest version of the book, Let Us Java. Written by Yashavant Kanitkar and published by BPB Publications. So let's see what we will have now in this book. In this video we will covering the remaining topics of the of the book which are Introduction to OOP Arrays, Strings and Enums Generics and Java Collection User Interfaces JDBC Please see the book for more details. Data Types, Control Instructions and Functions are the basic building blocks of any Java program. With all these topics covered it's time to move on to something more complex namely Object, Oriented, Programming Java is an object-oriented programming language. Object-oriented programming, OOP, refers to a type of computer programming in which programmers define not only the data type of a data structure, but also the types of operations that can be applied to the data structure. In this way, the data structure becomes an object that includes both data and functions. In addition, programmers can create relationships between one object and another. An object's functions called member functions or methods typically provide the only way access its data. If you want to access a data item in an object, you call a member function in the object. It will read the item in the value to you. Concepts in OOPs are Abstraction, the process of picking out, abstracting, common features of objects and procedures. Encapsulation is the process of combining elements to create a new entity. A procedure is a type of encapsulation because it combines a series of computer instructions. Inheritance, is acquiring properties or behavior from their parent class. Polymorphism, a programming language's ability to process objects differently depending on their data type or class. Please refer to the book for a detailed explanation about each concept. The author used very easy go-to language in book and give attention to each concept for better understanding of the reader. Arrays are the collection of elements of similar data types. Like all integer values or all float values. Arrays are very useful in storing large volume of data sets inside a single container. An array has basically three parts. Array declaration. In this we declare an array variable for this following with square brackets. Array initialization. M here we initialize the array with the elements of same data types. Array access, finally we access the array to run. An array can be multidimensional also. Please go through the array topic to see how array works and about its components. When an array is having all the character set then it is called as a string. A string takes only character. There are many function which can be performed on the string like concatenating two strings change the case of string to upper or lower, compare two strings and many more. Please go through the book for getting all the knowledge about string. Generic are a mechanism that make it possible to use one function or class to handle many different data types. By using generics, we can design a single function, class that operates on data of many types, instead of having to create a separate function, class for each type. In this chapter we would look at using generics with functions and then move on to using generics with classes. Code that uses generics has many benefits over non-generic code. First stronger type checks at compile time. Secondly elimination of casts. And lastly enabling programmers to implement generic algorithms. By using generics. Programmers can implement generic algorithms that work on collections of different types, can be customized, and are type safe and easier to read. In today's GUI centric world it is expected that Java programs would let a program interact with the user using GUI elements like text boxes, list boxes, combo boxes, push button, scroll bars etc. To facilitate this interaction Java provides three libraries. Active Window Toolkit, Swing and JavaOx. This book will now focuses on the implementation of the code in GUI interface. Simple programs are there for implementing in GUI mode like Temperature Conversion Program and many others. You will get to learn making simple GUI applications with this book after completing. 
all the topics successfully. JDBC stands for Java Database Connectivity. JDBC is a Java API to connect and execute the query with the database. It is a part of Java SE, Java Standard Edition. JDBC API uses JDBC drivers to connect with the database. There are four types of JDBC drivers. JDBC ODBC Bridge Driver Native Driver Network Protocol Driver and Fin Driver we can use JDBC API to access tabular data stored in any relational database. By the help of JDBC API, we can save, update, delete and fetch data from the database. Now why should we use JDBC? We can use JDBC API to handle database using Java program and can perform the following activities. Connect to the database. Execute queries and update statements to the database. Retrieve the result received from the database. So we are wrapping up for this book. It's a basically a brief about the book. If you will go through the book you will enjoy learning the course. Apart from this you can test your knowledge gained by solving carefully crafted exercise of the book. If you really want to learn something which can benefit you in future then this book is for you. You can buy this book from Amazon, the link is provided in description or contact BPB Publications directly for placing bulk orders. Hope you have liked this description if yes then please like and subscribe to our channel and if no then please share your feedback in comment section.